hello welcome back to my channel i haven't done the video for quite long time uh, so uh, this is a, an old video but i haven't uh, um, you know, update, uploaded in our, our channel so in this uh, video will be helpful for the people who is traveling to paris so uh, uh, in this video i have included that uh, um, how i pack my suitcases what all the things you need require to uh, you know when you travel uh, to paris with the coach or train or the flight uh, so uh, this all the suitcase i am uh, planning to take but um, you have to uh, carefully um, measure the suitcase before you pack it because uh, they have given the certain measurements coach uh, guidelines they say is the exact measurement of each suitcase so uh, 20 kilo per person so i am um, i have a weighing scale i always uh, weigh before i uh, travel so that's the measurement 90 into 75 into uh, 43 so um, length mm -hmm. height and width so uh, uh for the hand luggage it should be seven kilo and uh, uh, the length is 20 into 20 into 48 so uh, better we have to measure before we take we don't want any problems uh, while we are in the coach but when we went uh, when we uh, went to paris like you know where um, they haven't even um, measured the uh, weight or they haven't even measured the size of the suitcase but in case one day uh, we haven't we uh, took a uh, suitcase like that is exceeded the measurement then uh, they can decline so why we need to take a risk so i don't want to take any risk that's why i i mean I don't want to um, miss my um, you know, beautiful journey to um, you know for a simple mistake from me so I, I don't want to do that I, I don't think you need to do that. you want to do that isn't it so uh, I am just uh, checking all the sips are working because sometime uh, I check my um, sips and things because i usually keep the measurement of the suitcase when we uh, bought the suitcase you know but i couldn't find it so my suitcase uh, uh, you know the big suitcase that's length of 78 into 15 into 15 so it will be uh, perfectly all right for the coach tra trip so um, i can take this one um for the coach trip there is no problem like you can take everything there are uh, whatever the coach trips um, uh, instruct you you can only bring uh, only uh, you know you can bring only that uh, items if they say uh, these items uh, they don't allow means you ha you can't take it okay so um, I'm uh, so I choose to take that suitcase um, I have measured all the suitcases because uh, you know I just want to make sure everything is in the right size so i have taken three suitcases and the handbags okay so um that was plenty of um, space and uh, um, some of the items we bought from paris and it was appropriate for the uh, it was really uh, enough uh, for us uh, and some um, we have stayed in our friend's house for a couple of days not a couple of days i mean uh, when we went one day we stayed and when we come back one day like so it's so two days uh, so we needed the clothes for the uh to wear there as well so that's why we, anyway we packed everything in that suitcase um yeah so uh these are the suitcase i have chosen. so what i said um that's a basic thing you have to do just measure all the uh, length width and height of the suitcase and make sure it's not damaged at all uh, because if it damaged then you know when you are uh, taking out and in when we can be a problem it your, your clothes can get damaged okay so uh, that's about the suitcase then what do you need to do next like you have to just clean all the suitcase I always clean the suitcase with the wet wipes, with the det uh, especially Dettol wipes. Uh, so, you know, I don't want any, um, you know, uh, messy or uh, uh, like bacteria, virus, anything on my uh, suitcase surfaces. But anyway, we are traveling somewhere, so we can get it. 
um you know i don't want any residue from the uh, previous uh, previous travel so uh, just clean so it will looks clean uh, clean if you wipe with the water uh, it can damage the suitcase so just make sure um, what's the uh, leaflet says uh, you know in the um, suitcase there is a uh, label like uh, you can clean with the, this uh, substance or so uh, how to clean all that so let me show you how what all the clothes i am taking i have choose to wear a dress for my paris trip um i went on uh, around may uh, school term so at that time it was very nice weather very hot so it was um you know uh, very nice uh, to wear the uh, dress but always um check the weather before you travel um if you uh, have a app downloaded in your mobile like a bbc weather or any other uh, weather app this uh, you can just search the place you are going then uh, download that um, place so you can search the uh, weather um, you know do you know in the future uh, days i think around uh, 25 8, uh, 30 days before uh, the weather forecast is available in the app so you can just uh, check it and select the clothes according to the weather okay but uh, take some uh, spare clothes or just jackets cardigan or something so if you feel cold you can just um, wear it or if it's warm weather you can just remove it as you see uh, rather than uh, just taking very uh, thick clothes um, so always uh, make sure the weather and the style of that area where you travel okay that's the second tips uh, no second tip, third tip so i just said you have to measure the suitcase and check the weights and clean the suitcases with the uh, you know wipes uh, and select the clothes accordingly so um, these are the dress i plan to take it so uh, you may have seen my party strips video by this now, time now so you know where where are all the places i have used this uh, uh, clothes isn't it so yeah uh, these all the uh, clothes are very pretty uh, in the photos so yeah, you have to just think oh the, this uh, dress suit for me or uh, it will look nice in the photos me i am always uh, like to take the photos um, uh, wherever i travel because that's a memor memorable uh, event so i don't think i am able to go back to the same place again in my lifetime because uh, um, i don't want uh, because we i don't have enough money to travel the same place all the time so um i, I have some uh, like interest or i have some favorite places to visit so i like to visit there uh, rather than going the same place again and again so i have bought uh, these two dresses from demo and, and this that was my first uh, time buying from demo and i don't know the uh, i don't have any experience to buy the clothes from demo uh, and it was very expensive it was uh, like uh, 15 70 pound i can't remember how much exactly so um, i don't know the quality of clothes sometime you know if you buy the cheaper clothes the color will uh, fade or color will go or the stitching is not good the cloth material is not good like that so i don't even have much uh, uh, expectation but when i received this uh, packet of clothes oh my god it was amazing and and i am uploading this video after so many months of wearing this cloth so it's a good quality and it's worth to buy it so this cloth i have wear when i travel to uh, you know when i visit the eiffel tower so you have seen the photo and this uh, dress i have this is my favorite dress and especially if you go to disneyland it's like a reddish uh, world isn't it like a um, mickey mouse mini mouse everywhere everyone is wears like a red color so most of the people wear red color clothes so that's why i select this um, dress to wear there uh, so this one also very pretty and it looks beautiful in the uh, photos so when you check my paris uh, trip uh, videos so you can see that um, how this uh, dress looks well in the videos and photos i really uh, like this dress and uh, it's like a benin type of material and just it uh, will uh, you know uh, like elastic 
so i have uh, choosed what are the clothes i'm going to wear during my trip next one is just iron all the clothes usually my husband is ironing all the clothes because he is a perfectionist to iron the clothes i uh, he don't usually let me to iron the clothes but for me i just want to iron quickly so i can just uh, pack all the things i don't want to do anything just uh, previous day of my trip i know i have to be uh, just relaxed during the previous day of my trip so i always like to organize everything i don't want to rush i don't want to forget because it's a human beings in a uh, it's a uh, we can forget so but when you are going to for a trip you if you forget then it, it will uh, have a problem so i don't want to do that and the, um, where we are traveling um, the um, travel agent told us to carry the umbrella because it can be raining any time that's the weather i have kept everything in one uh, pack like a trouser top vest and the garments everything i fold it together so i don't need to search all the other bits and pieces in my suitcase and make mess so uh, this helps to uh, you know for to save the time so then the next thing i we need to take uh, the uk uh, U euro plug like uh, uh, in the france um, we, they have a different type of socket so you can't use your to charge your mobile phone or uh, you can't use any uh, electric equipment there without the u plug so always uh, buy u plug uk to u u plug okay if you all your equipment is in uk uh, version like you know different plugs so uh, just uh, take a few um, for you uh, to use uh during your trip then another thing you need uh hats i told i already i have already mentioned that i we traveled in april may april may uh, periods that was summer time so um this is the hat uh we i took another thing you need to uh, make sure uh, the umbrella you have bought you can uh, keep it in your handbag because uh, uh, when uh, when we went uh, our first uh, stopover was in a river uh, for in near to the eiffel tower that was we were going to the river cruise so in case if the uh, it will rain you have to use the umbrella so just to, uh, by the small um, you know um, like a uh, umbrella that you can keep it in your handbag okay so another thing you need um euro euro like, like euro money uh in uh, france they don't use pound so you have to convert the a uh, pound to euro so if you go to the post office uh, they will give you uh, euro for how many pounds uh, can you need to convert then uh, you can uh, take some uh, as a cash or you can get a post office card so um, uh, there's a commission free so you can uh, take uh, because when you are traveling in the coach there are, there won't be uh, enough atms so or they don't stop you uh to withdraw the cash there are lots of people traveling in the coach so it's not fa fair for uh fair to waste their time isn't it so you have to um, prepare for that so um, when you go and get the uh, conversion of uh, euro you, you have to uh, provide the uh, photo id card like a passport or driving license then they will give you the it, it won't it won't take long you know it's very easy and quick not like in india you know in india if you need to go and get some few small things they will ask us to go up and to the tax or when you return uh, when you return feel free to bring any leftover money back to us and we will buy it by commission free if you uh, trip get cancelled on word or free uh, refund guarantee covers 100 percent of your travel money so uh, i have converted um, like around 160 pounds uh, to the yeah i mean not 160 i think 250 pounds to euro i think i have got uh 160 euro uh then um you know sometime uh you can give to the cash if uh, they are not uh, they don't have the atm uh reader machine so you can just give it and it's very easy you can just but uh, it's not very safe to carry lots of cash in your bag so there are so many pickpockets incident happen in france so uh, i have just used the uh, some uh, like uh, 
like a card like a post office card so um, as i mentioned earlier like you have to provide your photo id card then uh, they will give the money so um, that's the um, the post office card then there is a barcode and you have to download the app then uh, you have to um, activate the card before uh, the next day after 10 30 pm so once you um, add the money into your card uh, it can only activate the next day 10 30 pm so just make sure uh, use the um, you um, top up before your travel okay so i have used this card to buy the uh, things from disneyland uh, there are lots of shops you know if you if you are accommodating with your kids they want lots of things to buy from the shop so i used uh, to buy all the um, gifts and things from uh, the shops and i all also paid in the restaurant because uh, in the uh, coast travel they will provide only breakfast and uh, supper so lunch we have to pay ourselves so and you can just uh, get some snacks with you you can take it in your bag and another main thing is your passport if you have a british passport you can travel to uh, paris uh, otherwise you have to apply for a Schengen visa so you have to make sure you get visa before you travel otherwise they can care of you your travel uh, and another thing in the post office card is only valid for two years so uh, you can use the card for two years and then uh, if, the, if there is any money left over you can um, you know you can apply for a new card and they will convert that uh, leftover money into the new card okay so um, another thing is um, like uh, your mobile so when you travel to uh, paris your mo uh, mobile going to the international uh, you know uh, roaming so it will be more expensive so you have to speak to your mobile network provider and uh, uh, get for a go roam option that is uh, i uh, call my mobile network provider that's just three they given me for one week uh, like five days uh, um, like a gorom charges two uh, pound uh, per day so and you have to use uh, um, you can use up to 12 gb more you can't use more than that and you can use the hotel wi-fi so i hope this video will be very helpful for you